What up guys, Tawak here, and today we're bringing you another video from Fishing Planet. Today I'm going to show you where to catch the alligator gar in Missouri, um, and I'm going to show you just how ridiculous the fight can be for them. Um, I caught one when I set out to catch them, and then the second one I hooked into, uh, I put about an hour and a half into fighting it, and I gave up because I almost never have enough time to sit down for that kind of fish. Uh, so stay tuned and I'll show you guys that because I happen to record that. Um, but for now, how to catch the alligator gar. Um, it's pretty obvious that you should use the best gear that you have. Uh, I still use like 15 pound test on everything and I wasn't, I'm not able to make a reliable catch on them. Uh, unfortunately that's the best match tackle I can get at level 18 I don't know if there's better stuff I don't think so um, but 15 pound test is what I caught one of them on uh, and then the second one it just bested me uh, we're using shiners I'm using a number 7 O hook though I've seen guys use up to 9 -0 for these guys uh, for gars uh, on the Phoenix 12 foot pole the location is the this is called the Pike Challenge, and I know the peak time on a cloudy day in Missouri is past noon, so we'll go ahead and go to noon. We're using a 25-inch leader, and we're casting at this log over here, right there. It's worth mentioning when I did hook into the, the second gar, I fought it for so long uh, that my reel's durability was down to 20% when I ended up breaking the line. Actually, I think it was down to like 10%. Uh, you guys will have to check the video later, and I already have a bite here. But it was down to like 10%. My rod was down to like 20%, and it cost me upwards of 50 gold to repair my gear. All right, there's a fish. And it's definitely behaving like a gar. Yep, look at it run. Honestly, guys, I don't think I have it in me to fight this, to fight another gar. I just wanted to show you where I got it and the tactics I did use to catch them. Um, as you can see, they're pretty erratic fighters, too, so you got to be conscious of the tension on your pole. Come on. This is ridiculous. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to do this to my reel again. Um, I've already recorded a two-hour fight with one of these bastards, um, so why don't we check that out now? What up, guys? To walk here, and you are joining me 40 minutes into an alligator gar fight. Um, I had to stop and make this recording because there's no way I'm going to make this in a normal recording of my typical guide videos. Um, and I'm sure that this fight is being injected into the middle of my guide to catch an alligator gar in Missouri. Um, I've been fighting this fish for 40 minutes so far. Um, I started in-game. This fish got on hook at 12.30. You look in the top left up there. It is now 3.51 p.m. And this guy is still going. So holy cow, guys. <laughs> um, I'm using the Phoenix, I believe the 7 foot 10 inch pole uh, match set with 20 pound fluorocarbon test, uh, number 70 hook with shiners at a 25 inch drop, uh, 25 inch lead. Uh, it's worth mentioning that I'm breaking the limit for my reel on this as well. Uh, I was planning for a hell of a fight, so I'm over my reel's rated test. Now, the reason I'm doing that, guys, if you enable your pro meter on the right-hand side, um, when you're using optimal weight, you'll notice that it's the line that is the weakest piece of your setup. Um, while you're 
reel and your pole aren't even getting stressed beyond like 30 40 percent of their uh, flexing ability um, so I've talked to some other pros and we've pretty much agreed that uh, you should break your reels uh, tensile strength rating because um, I mean that's what the true optimal strength you can see that I'm I have a really big balance between my three main pieces if I turn it up you can see like I can definitely you know play with it <laughs> and that being said it's not doing me a hell of a lot of help in this fight with the gar one thing that really is tough about the gar is when they do finally decide to head your way they'll do it really quick um, and you've got to be ready to compensate by moving the pole yourself. So if the gar decides to dive towards you, you've got to compensate by pulling the pole off to the left. Um, and you'll be surprised how much, just how much you'll have to fight with it. Hopefully we can get ourselves a snapshot of that and I don't lose it when it happens because that's when most people lose the gar is when it decides to go on the attack. Alright, here he comes. He's swimming towards me. See, I kind of got to compensate for it. Got him find that nice middle road. Can't let it get too low. Oh, come on, baby. Don't pull back out on me. We're clocking at 45 real-time minutes so far to catch this fish. That's dedication, baby. See, when it drops down like that, I can um, meander my drag up and down. What I ended up doing is setting my drag settings to my left uh, two mouse buttons and I found it to be just the perfect placement for them. So I can change drag on the fly without having to reach for the keyboard. I've seen guys on the forums talk about how they've uh, gotten, you know, they put like a weight on their mouse uh, when they're catching a gar and they uh, you know, go eat a pizza or make a sandwich or, you know, just go do something else and they come back and it's still spooling, still coming in, still going out. Definitely the most challenging fish I've put into yet. Uh, and definitely made more challenging by the most recent update. work for a fish that's probably gonna sell for less than a hundred bucks oh is this finally it boys look at him get dragged across the ground ha <laughs> oh damn it now he's gonna take off again after getting drugged on the ground like that <laughs> uh, if anybody else is keeping score this is 70 minutes or no this will be a full hour so I started the flick here when I was at 40 minutes in And he's gone. Catch you guys after the break. Oh, he's coming back. He's getting tired. Watch him rip it, though. Oh, he's coming in. Nope. Oh, it's coming back. He's getting tired. We almost went under 60. Come on, baby. Yeah, come on in, 50. Oh, don't go back on the land. I don't want you to glitch out and ruin it after 70 minutes. Ah, there's nothing I can do to stop it, though. He goes where he wants to go curse this match tackle that's so light yeah something for you guys to let me know in the comments below do you believe that since this is what some of us would consider the most challenging fish in the game is this an applicable fight um, we just crested the 70 minute point and 
know, like, uh, he's still got a lot of fight in him. Is this applicable for the hardest fish in the game? Let me know what you guys think. Um, and I'll catch you after the break. Always coming in, come on. Throw me a friggin' bone, fishing planet. We just passed the 80 minute mark. <sighs> no end in sight. At this point, it looks like I'll break the reel before catching the fish. We are at 100 real-life minutes to catch the alligator gar in Missouri. At this point, I've I've given up hope. I, I feel like my reel is gonna break way before I catch this fish. It just comes in and then it goes out. Comes in and it goes out. So, well, maybe this is the stretch where I catch it, or maybe it takes off again. Hopefully I catch this thing before it breaks my favorite reel. Alright guys, we have officially hit the two hour mark that I've been fighting this fish. I just, I don't even know what to say anymore about this fucking thing. Alright guys, we are at 2 hours and 20 minutes. Um, I'm not holding my breath on catching this anymore. As a matter of fact, I'm breaking the line here. Um, I'm going to host a screenshot of the time that I was able to catch Gar for whatever reason. Um, this one ain't happening, and I'm going to chalk it up to it not being very balanced right now. Uh, but you guys know where it is. Uh, you know what to use. Uh, and you know what kind of a fight's ahead of you. So cool, guys. Hopefully you have better luck than I in catching the alligator gar after this latest patch. Uh, if you have some techniques or a different set of gear you could recommend to catch them, I'm all ears. Let me know in the comments below. If you think this is ridiculous and it shouldn't take us over two hours to catch a fish, also let me know in the comments below. Uh, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. This is Tawak, signing off. Thank you.